it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure you tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. So today I'm very excited about this video because I'm featuring one of the brand new units from Sensationals Curls and Kinks and Co. line. The name of this unit is Alpha Woman. Can y'all see it? Uh, it's hard with my lighting. And this is what Alpha Woman is looking like straight out the pack. She does have her two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. On the stock card, it says it's for all curl types from what, 3B to 4C. It shows you a host of other colors that this wig comes in. And it says on the inside that it's designed to mimic natural hair blowouts that are full, lightweight, lots of body, yada, yada, yada. Has a deep center part. I think this goes back about four inches and it comes with baby hair. So let's see what Alpha Woman is hitting like. I'm just gonna toss her on my head and yeah. Okay, here I am tossing her on. Let me try a side part. I know you guys like side parts. Okay, so this is what Alpha Woman is looking like straight out the pack, okay? Straight out the pack is what she's looking like. I can tell you right now that I absolutely adore this texture. Jesus Christ, this, is a, this feels amazing. Now, I know off the bat that I'm gonna have to apply some heat here. Although online it said that it was like, um, how do you say hot water set safe or something like that? It did not say this wig was heat safe. I'm a little concerned, like is this thing gonna burn up or not? I guess we'll find out in the review. But yeah, I'm gonna have to apply some heat here and figure out what I'm gonna do over here with the hairline. The baby hairs that came with it wasn't a lot, so I just cut them out. I don't normally use baby hairs. So if you are ready to see me doctor up Miss Alpha Woman, keep on watching. Alpha Woman and I have my thoughts so let's just jump right in starting with the pros. So the first pro to Alpha Woman if it isn't obvious by now is this gorgeous yakky texture. My god. Ah! If you are familiar with my channel if you know who I am as a person you know I ride or die for some yakky hair. Like this blowout texture is everything absolutely everything. It feels so soft and so luscious. It reminds me of my hair in its healthiest state when I do a nice wash and condition and blow it out and maybe do like a kind of curl set under a dryer and then maybe after a few days I want to like you know let it straighten out but this is how it reminds me of like this mimics natural hair so well sensational what fibers are you using because honey oh my god she is beautiful I i'm so impressed with how much this feels like my hair it doesn't feel like super rough like you know janet collection jode i reviewed that unit some months back. As much as I love the style of that unit, the fibers themselves felt rough and it definitely wasn't heat safe. Like I definitely almost burnt my Jode up, okay? So to have Sensational come out with a texture like this, I'm like, okay, so it is possible to mimic our texture without it feeling like a Brillo pad, right? Thank you. Kudos to Sensational for the texture because 
That means so much to me. Another pro to this unit, I would say, is just the style. I think this style is perfect for every day. If you have, like, let's say a nine to five job and you like to, you know, have your hair on the more conservative side and you like natural hair colors, I mean, this looks, this looks amazing. This looks so full and bouncy. I love the layers. Look at these layers, y'all. And the slight bumped ends are a nice touch too. I normally am not a huge fan of bumped ends, but this looks nice. This really kind of... <laughs> I like this! I like this. The parting space is also nice. You know, I didn't have to pluck or tweeze anything. I simply added my got to be glue, you know, right there in the middle, pressed it down, and I was done with the parting space. So far, Alpha Woman is shaping up to be a really nice wig. Now let's talk about the cons. The first con I noticed with this wig was just the hump action. It was a little ridiculous. I never took so long to flatten out the top of a wig. And even to me right now, it's still not as flat as I could get it. But it's not just the top. It's like in between here, all in between here. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Are these filler hairs? Like, or is it just extra coarse at the root? It reminds me of like, when you straighten out your natural hair and let's say there's moisture in the air, maybe it just rained and your roots start curling up. And so it's like your hair is, you know, pressed out nicely, but then your roots are not matching. That's what this hump action in the middle is reminding me of, but it's all throughout the wig. To me, that's a bit annoying. I'd rather it just be smooth all the way through from root to tip. So I'm not sure why they constructed it that way. If I really want to get you know, into these roots. I have a blow dryer brush. I would have to use that and get in between there. Hopefully it doesn't burn the hair because the blow dryer didn't seem to burn anything. It still feels smooth. So right now I'm saying this is pretty heat safe. So the hump action I wasn't really feeling. Also the cap size is not like super big y'all. I don't know if you can tell here, but look, look at all this. This is showing. I'm wearing it to the side, all this is showing. And as I'm sure you noticed, as a result, you know, I wasn't wearing my wig all the way to the hairline. I had to wear it a little bit further back. But I did explain in the Joe video how I like to use a eyeliner pencil, usually brown or black depending, and I just like to fill this in. And you see when I fill this in, it just, it looks more natural that way. I don't have to worry about like, that lace showing and it's lighter than me. Just fill it in. Don't stress yourself, sis. Just take a pencil, fill it in like over here. I could fill that in a little bit more. Look, I'm taking a black pencil this time and I am just coloring it in. No problem. Why am I gonna stress myself trying to pull this wig forward and lay the lace down? Like, nah, I'm not doing all that. Done. So yes, the cap size, not the most big head friendly. But honestly, y'all, because I love this texture so much, if my head were bigger, I would still try to squeeze my noggin in this thing because this feels amazing. It feels so good. I can't remember the price right now, but I will put it on the screen. It's definitely an affordable buy and it looks great. It's giving me a Leah vibe to the side. Do you like it to the side? Or should I put it in the middle? You know I'm a middle part kind of girl, so I think I wanna try in the middle. Let me do that and I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back, but I have to show you something. I was not happy with how the roots were looking when I put it in the middle. It was looking really puffy. And so I decided to grab my blow dryer brush. This is by Revlon. I remember it retailed for about $38 on Amazon. You should definitely grab this brush just for life because I know it, it helps my natural hair as far as cutting down on blow drying time. I will definitely leave a link for it. Um, in the description box, an Amazon link, an affiliate link. Feel free to use it. But yeah, so I use this and look how much smoother this wig is laying, y'all. Look at that. Oh my God, it's looking so freaking good now. Love it. Compared to this side where you're still getting this hump action over here in the middle. I'm gonna continue to use it, look.
So this is the finished look using that blow dryer. Now I wasn't trying to blow dry it all the way through the ends because I did want to still keep the bumped ends, but I think it looks so much better. Y'all need to grab that blow dryer brush for real. Doesn't this look gorgeous? <laughs> this is definitely mimicking human hair, kinky straight wigs to the T. I am absolutely floored by the texture of this wig. I'm floored. Sensational. What are you doing to me with this? I would love if you put this texture on the Sensational Wet Lace Collection. Y'all know them wet lace fibers are trash, okay? Yes, I said it. They're trash. They get on my nerves. <laughs> Except for Wet Lace Chrissy, I like that wig. And I think I liked it because it was shorter. But the rest of them got on my nerves in some type of way. But Sensational, this texture for curls, kinks, and co, I am all the way here for it. I'm standing for it. The puffiness was a little out of control for me, but it was an easy fix as far as like, smoothing it out with the blow dryer brush. I'm sure you could probably mimic the same effect with a flat iron, but you gotta be careful with heat because I didn't wanna take out the kinky straight texture. Like I wanted to keep it. So I didn't keep it on there for too long, but this is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> My favorite kinky straight wig that is synthetic to date is by Free Trust Equal, the FL003. Please check out that wig. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's under $30. It's bomb. You see me in it right now. Like, it took very little work. Go get that wig. But back to this wig. Y'all, please let me know your thoughts on this wig in the comments down below. I am dying to hear what you think about this wig this wig, Alpha Woman. I was still on the fence about if I wanted to try the shorter version that's out right now, but I think after playing with this one, I think I have to get the short version. If you want me to review that one, let me know in the comments down below. How do you feel about this process? How do you feel about the texture? The process of me like having to use the blow dryer to flatten up top and then switching to a different blow dryer. Let me know what you think. Are you here for the yak in 2020 or nah? If you're here for it, stand up. Drop me a comment. Let me know how you feel. When I get loud, that means I'm excited. That means I really, really, really like a wig. Even with the cons in this wig, I still rock with it. And I really hope you all do too. Now, before I go, I wanted to touch on one more thing, my makeup. When I posted my $20 Tuesday video this week, um, the wet look video, a lot of you were really feeling my makeup in that video. It was very simple and I just wanted to like, let you guys know what I did exactly. Just something you should know about me, I'm not a big foundation person. I literally probably just started wearing foundation for real for real when I started my channel. I know some of you might be like, oh, you're so lucky, like you don't feel like you have to wear foundation. No, it's not that, it's just, I always was really nervous about breaking my skin out and I, I just always steered away from it in my 20s. But when I started a channel, I felt the need to like, I don't know, look maybe more put together, I don't know. So I bought me some fancy foundation and like, kept with that. But with this look, I literally just used my Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Ebony. And Ebony is actually like slightly darker than me in the face. Like slightly darker because I have like these golden undertones in my face. But for some reason, I really, really like the look. Like it looks so even and put together. For me, it was polished enough to come on camera. Also, I don't have like an acne problem per se. I mean, I get bumps here and there. I got a bump right over here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't have a major acne problem. I also don't have like major hyperpigmentation or a lot of like acne scars. So my skin issues are minimal. So for me, pressed powder was definitely enough. However, if you really like the look of like super matte foundation, then pressed powder may not be enough for you. But I just know that's what I used in my last video and I was like, I'm gonna do it again because people really liked it. As well as my eyeliner, I literally just lined like the top and the bottom, that was it. And some lashes and concealer. <laughs> My makeup look is very simple. I only do a little bit more when it comes to like eyeshadow because I'm trying to play around and experiment with eyeshadow, especially glitters. But I just wanted to touch on my makeup because quite a few of you asked me about it. So there you go. However, you might notice my makeup looking a little bit different soon because I did buy some Juvie's Place foundation because I've been wanting to try it for a long time. I tried it one night out and it is super full coverage. I was like, whoa. 
who is this bitch? So you'll definitely see me in that foundation very soon. But this pressed powder, baby, is like looking very skin-like and I really, really like that natural look. So if you're new to my channel, please make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. We are on the road to 10K and I'm so excited about it. So let's keep on trucking. This hair is popping. I suggest you get her. Cons aside, I'm feeling her. And if you want to check out some of my latest videos, you can see them over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.